All right, I'm back doing another All Masks run, finally. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to get started, to be honest. Um, yeah, so a lot has changed <laughs> since I last did a run. Um, I have uh, reworked major parts of it. Um, a couple of new tricks were discovered, so I'm, I'm pretty hyped for that. Um, yeah, and um, I did uh, get this run down to sub-130, which hopefully I'm going to get this time as well. The current world record is 1 hour 40, uh, 40 minutes by Schmoop. But, I mean, that's like half a year old at this point or something. So um, I'm hoping to update that now. All right. It's almost starting. <laughs> Uh, by the way, for anyone um, speedrunning this, it's a bit uh, better to start the clock a bit too early there, rather than too late, uh, just because that makes it easier to retime um, the run, because you have a clock on the screen telling you like, basically how much how much time has passed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm trying to, I was trying to do a trick there. Um, like jumping on that pillar and then going directly up to the uh, <coughs> to the upper floor, which I have managed to do once, I think. And it could, in theory, save a lot of time, but well, not a lot of time. But, um, it would look really cool. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just <laughs> going for it every time. And like in this category, Seconds don't really matter, so you can just do whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm doing the euro at the moment. Uh, that's basically the same as in any percent right now. Oh, I should also talk about the version I'm running on. So, <clears throat> well, there's, there's two tricks that are version dependent. And Right now, if you know the, let's just say the old uh, any percent route, you might be wondering what I'm doing. Um, so this is uh, strat after something like version 3.6, I think, where it changed. So there used to be a hole in the ground where you could climb through, but um, they fixed that. So now we have to do something a little bit different, which takes a bit more time. Um, but then also in the latest version, so version 3.7.7, which came out like a week ago, um, they changed something uh, right at the very end of this run, which um, basically breaks the, my current strats. So I'm, uh, I'm not running that. I'm running version 3.6.11. That should be it. Um, yeah, because they haven't messed up anything major here yet. <laughs> I can talk about that a bit uh, more later, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, but basically the euro is the same as in any percent. except that I didn't bother um, splitting it into several splits, just because this run is way longer than any percent.
Yeah, I guess any percent is really good practice for this category as well, because <laughs> like if you think about it, basically we're doing all of any percent in this run, <laughs> except for a couple of um of routes that are different. But all the tricks are the same. More or less. All right, that was the Ewer. Good old Ewer. Um, so you want to go left here, but not too far. I'm not sure how far you want to go left here, to be honest. Um, I think right about now when the, uh, when the uh, text appears, you want to go left once more because we're heading to the wind tower right now. Yeah, there we go. So there's this big rock that you um, want to avoid. And now, obviously, since this is a speed run, uh, we're not doing the intended route. We're just uh, going to climb up this this wall. Ah. I try to get the moon up there every time, and I fail every time. I'm not sure it's possible. Yeah, so just a lot of fast climbing. <coughs> this run is basically about 50% fast climbing. <laughs> you really need to have that down uh, if you, <laughs> you want to uh, run this category. Yeah, unlike me. One more wall, and then we're up. What happened there? I'm not sure. All right, that was more or less smooth. Now we get a short cutscene and then uh, we're off to the Hercules beetle nest. I'm going to walk back here, backwards, um, call the moon, and then run. So the moon uh, usually <laughs> gets up this uh, flight of stairs. Uh, she didn't manage that this time, but yeah. <clears throat> so now basically we're heading west, southwest, something like that. So this run is actually um, pretty time sensitive because uh, around, I think an hour or so in, um, there's a part that you need to do at a certain time of day. So if you're too slow before that, um, you basically miss, miss your queue and the run is dead, more or less. Um, so I should be fine with the um, with the route I'm uh, I set up now. So it should be fast enough to do that um, since I have practiced it a lot. But if you want to start practicing this uh, this route, uh, maybe you should um, just try try around with um, moving those particular um, those particular splits up a bit so they're a bit uh, sooner. 
But we'll get to that later. All right, now we're choosing this part. Now we need three lava husks, so we pick up this one. And pick up the one above. Over here. Then the last one is just up here. Just climb here, then jump over there or something. And then teleport back. Yeah, so next up is Campbell's Cube. Um, so the way back in the olden days, we used to do items uh, to get money. So we, we um, just duped items and, and sold them, basically. Uh, because we need a lot of money for this route. Um, but that's no longer possible. They fixed that. Um, so now we dupe scrap, which we can then sell. Uh, but it's a bit tedious. So, um, yeah, this split is not very interesting. It's, it's just a lot of climbing up, jumping back down, climbing up, jumping back down. Actually, we need um, 90 scrap in total for uh, some badges later on. And... Oh, that was close. Almost fell off there. Um... So in this route, uh, we're getting exactly 90 scrap. <laughs> and we used to just pick up scrap the intended way, basically going around um, shipwrecks and stuff. Um, but duping it is just way faster. So this is the first trap. Oh, oh and the way duping works is just um when you reload the save file, um, in this particular location, all the scrap just respawns. So picking up all the scrap here, reloading the save file, um, and then just picking it up again. So there's a strat that can save your cycle here. If I'm fast enough, nah. It still save a bit of time. Oh, never mind. I should, I should actually get this. Now this should go back down. So um, what I'm doing here, on this um, white surface you can climb, but on the metallic surface you are not supposed to be able to climb. Um, but if you're already like in the climbing state, you can still climb there. But obviously you can't fast climb there, because um, like with fast climbing you're just getting in and out of the climbing state over and over. Uh, so you couldn't do that there. So what I just did there was I waited for the um, for the yellow box to pass, so I could get back on the white part and do fast climbing. All right. So this is all the scrap that I'm getting. Now I go save and exit.
And now notice that um, while the uh, loading screen is still up, I can already interact with the world. So I just picked up that scrap box um, during the loading screen, basically, which just saves a bit of time. Um, but you do want to remember where you positioned yourself uh, if you do that because um, so with this reload I need to move during the loading screen and so I want to know exactly where I am so I know where I need to move <laughs> and hopefully that works also, there's a bug here where um, the autosave just kind of breaks for the rest of the run. Um, so I'm, I hope I'm not encountering this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so usually, um, like you might have noticed, uh, when you pick up a scrap box, it's like the, the um, saving icon appears in the bottom right, but it didn't appear there. So the autosave is broken now. So now I have a choice of either completely restarting the game or just having to live with it. Um, honestly, I think I want to just live with it because I did practice a lot and I shouldn't fuck up that much that I need to rely on, a, <laughs> on, a, on an autosave. So we'll just roll with it. But it's important to be uh, like aware of that. I think it would say uh, it would um, cost around twenty seconds or something to restart the game. So it's honestly not a big deal at this point. But yeah. I have no idea what causes it, by the way. Like my theory is that maybe um, if you trigger an autosave while the loading screen is up, it bugs or something. Um, but honestly, I, I don't know. Because like that's like triggering an autosave while the while the loading screen is up. It's not really something that that a casual player would would do. So here we do it because you know we we know where we are we know what what to do, but casually, like you wouldn't really get into such a situation. But I've heard of casual players encountering that bug as well. So I really don't know what causes it. <clears throat> All right, but that was Campbell's cube. So we picked up fifty scrap here. Uh, we need nineteen total, so we need to. Um, Sell scrap twice actually. So um, we're going to the chum layer now and then to Burnt Oak Station where we can sell scrap. That's the only place in the game where we can sell scrap. So we're gonna sell it now, then pick up a bit more scrap and then go there again. And also, it's best to play this category with um, with high view distance, just because there are a lot of long uh, drives, basically, and you don't want to get lost. So I can, for example, see the chum layer just from afar and know exactly where I need to go. It's pretty helpful, especially in Sodic Waste later on, uh, when we need to head to um, the crystal plateau and like in sonic waste everything just looks the same <laughs> so you don't really know where you are and uh, can get lost easily which might have happened to me <laughs> like a couple of times during runs
But yeah, um, charm layer is just the same as an any percent. Just go up here, go up here, and then glitch through the wall. Hopefully first try, there we go. Um, Yeah, but now instead of uh, heading to Acrea, we're going to uh, Burned Oak Station. Also, something I find curious. Um, I'm pretty sure in about a second, uh, this uh, don't lose your bike uh, uh, text box will appear. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, it, it, it uh, always uh, pops up right there, every time. I'm not I'm not sure how that works. Because like there, there's a bug where it um, triggers way too many times. I'm not sure if that's connected. So in Burnt Oak, we need to talk to the machinist first. Um, yeah, so this um, the stuff we did at, at the Wind Tower, like way back at the start, um, was basically the quest for this machinist. So yeah, this game is pretty um, free in that way. Um, so you can just do quests basically in any order you want. Um, you can like do the stuff you need to do in quests before even triggering triggering the quests, which is pretty nice and you know saves a lot of time <laughs> basically. Um, the same with this. Um, we picked up those Lowell husks earlier and now we're just delivering them. And then finally, we're gonna. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> we're gonna sell the scrap over here. Now there are some NPCs um, you need to talk to twice. Um, the scrapper is, uh, oh, well, as an example of that. So you need. To, like if you do, um, if you run this, you need to remember to, you know, engage him twice. But not three times like I just did. There are a couple of other NPCs that are this way, but you just need to be a bit careful that you don't leave them too soon. Okay, so now we climb up to this cartographer. So we need cartographer's badges. We need, um, I mean, this is <laughs> the main mechanic of this game. You need uh, three badges to uh, to cast the masks and uh, mask, and obviously we are collecting all the masks. So we need three cartographer's badges. Um, Yes, yeah, so you can just um, bob up to him like this. Don't talk to him twice. <clears throat> um, yeah, so, so there's a thing with the cartographers. So we need three cartographer badges. So we need to talk to three cartographers. There are six in the game. So you actually have a choice as to um, which ones you talk to. And I used, or we used to um, take this one, so the Sand Sea Cartographer, then the one I'm doing uh, just in a second, the Red Sea Cartographer. And then the uh, the third one, we 
use the wash cartographer, so in the east. Uh, the thing about that one is it um, you do have to climb up to him. Uh, and it's quite an annoying climb, to be honest. And so I'm not doing that one uh, anymore. I'm actually doing the Sodic Waste cartographer, which is even more tedious to climb up. <laughs> but um, luckily, you, uh, we can skip all that with a quite a neat trick that you, you'll see later on, hopefully. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of choice in this run, I would say. So you can do things basically in any order you want. Um, like with most badges, so obviously we need to collect three of each badge type. Uh, there's not that much choice which, like wh where you should collect those badges. So for instance, there are four um, guards badges in total. Um, so you might think, okay, you can like the, there's a bit of a choice as to which which ones you pick up, but actually, um, like we need one, anyways. Just uh, like we get it by by um, doing other necessary stuff. So that that one you have to take basically, or it's free to take. And then the other three are like consecutive quests. Um, and so you just need to do the the first two of those, and the third one is basically unnecessary. So there's not that much choice in choosing where you um, where you get the badges, but there's a lot of choice in um, when you get them, basically. is quite a difficult climb actually and I'm failing it right now. I don't think I'll make it. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Back down I go. Yes, yeah, so the fast climbing is pretty tricky and requires a lot of practice for these kinds of uh, climbs anyways. So I'm just going to focus for a second. There we go. Then do a booster jump, which by the way you can do. So if you basically climb up any ledge and then jump during the animation, you um, you get kind of boosted um, forwards, which is nice. Um, So I just did another uh, thing where I basically knew what to do during the loading screen. So I uh, I could talk to that cartographer a bit quicker. You basically need to walk forwards and spam the interact button. It's nothing crazy. But yeah, you do have a lot of freedom in choosing uh, in which order you want to do things. So some things are just canonical. Um, so if you go to Sodic Waste, obviously you're gonna um, like it, there's one or two things, there's two or three things that you need to do. Um, oh god, <laughs> almost messed up there. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory which which things you're gonna do in which order. Um, there's still a lot of nuance, um, 
So, for instance, um, well, I mean, okay, you're going to start with Sansi, that region. Um, um, but, for instance, when, when we did the item duping, we would go to, or I at least would go to the wash after Sansi. So, um, but now I'm going to Redsy next. And then once that was fixed, um, I would go to Hakoa, so in, in the south, after I did Red Sea, and now I'm doing um, the wash before that. Yeah, so there's a lot of things you can choose, basically, which is quite nice. Um, honestly, I'm surprised I got that clip here first try, because it's more or less the hardest clip in the game, in the run. Um, by the way, this is another NPC that you need to talk twice to, and it's easy to forget that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I have had a habit of um, talking to NPCs too often. <laughs> I kind of just spam the buttons and don't really think about it. <clears throat> okay, so this uh, dialogue is a bit important, so you need to choose some certain things and a customized bike there we go and now we're done <laughs> so this is another thing I changed I'm going to atomic heart right now even though uh, I don't have the quest for that yet uh, but this way, I just have the uh, the uh, fast travel point up there. So once I get the quest, I can just uh, warp there. So I don't think this um, this costs a lot of time. I'm just doing this to get more scrap, basically. So I'm just going up there and collecting the scrap. Um, so normally, obviously, you would enter through the front door, but we can't do that yet, so we just, uh, we just climb through here, <laughs> because that's an option, and now we're in. Um, so there's a lot of things to do in Acria, but we're not doing those yet. We're, we're getting to those later. First of all, I'm going to collect a bit more scrap which I'm going to do in the whale, which is just uh, just south of here. Yeah, in theory, you could do the ancient race here, but there's really no point. It's kind of funny that that's just on the way, basically.
Oh, also I'm uh, collecting scrap here instead of uh, also just duping it um, until I have enough uh, because it's basically just as fast collecting it here as duping it. Um, and it's more interesting to collect it, so I thought, why not go for it? Because like, there's a lot of chests here, so it's more valuable. Obviously, I'm not collecting all scrap here. That would take way too long. Um, but I think I'm collecting five chests or something. Um, does that make sense? Still need 40 scrap. Uh, each box gives five, so I guess I'm collecting eight chests. Oh, I collected one in the atomic card. So that leaves seven. I have two. I'm collecting another two over here. Oh yeah, and then later on I'm collecting three. Yeah, so that makes sense. So seven at the whale, one at the atomic card, and the rest are duped. So that's these two. Um, now it's faster to just walk back and do the whale over again. I can notice that um, in this loading screen you can just press E and uh, like Simoon is, is placed right in front of you so you um, so you can immediately mount uh, Simoon. <laughs> no one saw that. You're supposed to jump over this. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, one of the hardest tricks in the run. You need to kind of align yourself here and then kind of just O W and kind of pray that you're uh, going up. So we need to um, get to the upper layer. It's just very inconsistent, basically. So I've practiced this a lot. Um, and I don't have a strategy, really. Okay, this time it worked. <laughs> Great. This is another chest, then we do a quick detour over here. And then we're going back. I'm not sure why it's lagging here. We're collecting this and then jumping down. And now here's why we need Simoon up here. We're doing a clip through this wall. It should look something like this. Never mind. It's usually pretty easy. But uh, I'm kind of failing at the moment. What's going on? Why is she turning so, so early? Um, let's try it over here. There we go. <laughs> that worked. I'll take it. So we need the... Nope. We, are you kidding me? Thank you. <laughs> we need the mask. Um... So that was the whale. Lost a bit of time there. Doesn't matter. Now we're going down to the bridge of the betrayed. You can see the sun is setting. Um, so as I said, there are time-sensitive things in this run. Um, we need to collect Nemur plants. Or actually Nemur butterflies. Slight spoiler there. <laughs> Um, but they only bloom during, like, at night. Um, so they close, I think, at 7 a.m. So we need to be in the wash um, before that. <laughs> but it's looking pretty good. So we need to do Breath of the... Uh, <laughs> uh, 
every time I see that acronym, BOTB, I think of Breath of the Wild. No, it's, this is not Zelda. <laughs> this is Bridge of the Betrayed. Um, so we need to do Bridge of the Betrayed. Then after this, um, we're selling scrap. Then after this, we're going back to Acrea. Uh, we actually need to visit Acrea three times in total. That's going to be the second time. <clears throat> um, and then we're going over to the wash. That should be enough time. Yes, this is another long climb. Um, if you're not good at fast climbing, just do it slowly or choose another route. Like there's many options to go up here, to get up here. Um, I used to like in my old run. I think in my last um, run, I climbed up here on the like basically on the north side. Um, so over there on the other side of the bridge, and that's just hell. Um, so that you can. It's super easy to trip up and just fall down. It's not fun, and it's like I, I timed it. It's, it's not even faster. So just <laughs> take the south side. It's easier. Nope. Oh, God damn it. What are we doing now? Burned oak. Yes, I have left like uh, 50 cuts remaining, and I need to buy the merchant badges from Iria, which are 100 cuts each. Um, and I need three, obviously. So um, I need some money before I do that. This should give me, yeah, all the scrappers badges. So now Acrea 2, what do we do here? We talk, first we go to Iria. Um, then we talk to Zandip. Uh, then we pick up the Oasis flower and then we pick up the Shade Mask. So there's four things to do here. I'm not looking at a guide, by the way. I'm, <laughs> I've memorized all this. Um, I do have two monitors now, but um, the second one is I just use for OBS right now. Um, so I couldn't even have <laughs> a guide up. Oh, by the way, um, so uh, I used a pomegranate to get to get in here, as you just saw. So I bribed uh, the guard with a pomegranate. Um, ah, that was wrong. Uh, you could also um, glitch through the wall, which if you make it first try, saves a bit of time. But honestly, that trick is a bit hard. And so I just... Um, think it does. <sighs> the shop is bugged. So this happens. I have no idea why. Uh, I can't buy anything, no matter what I press. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna restart real quick. Just out of four out of there. Oh yeah, right. Um, so you can bribe the guard with the pomegranate. You could, in theory, also bribe him with money. Um, but pomegranate is easier, I think. Actually, I haven't really thought about that. You could also use the moon to glitch through the wall to the left of him. Yeah, but it's a it's a pretty hard trick. Um, so. I don't really think it's worth it. 
until we find a better setup, at least. Okay, now the shop should work, hopefully. Yes. There we go. Um, so now we warp to Acre again, just to get the sand a little bit quicker. So now we get the... Uh, no, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad at dialogue in this game. It's it's horrible. Uh, but now we just got the quest for the atomic heart, which we can now just um, warp up to. Um. So, <laughs> yeah, I love this jump. By the way, um, this is my route to the oasis flower. We pick up, and now from here we just jump down to the shade mask. Oh, now that I restarted, I actually have auto saves back, which is nice. Oh, forget what I said earlier. Um, we're not going to the wash yet. Um, so, there's a warp here, or a clip, I should say, which, like, with a bit of practice, it's not that hard. Let's see if I can get it. Mm, not quite. Nope, that was too soon. Are you serious? That didn't work. It looked like it worked. There we go. Um, so that just saves a bit of time going going around. If you get it. Like first or second try. It should save a bit of time. Um split it earlier. Actually, or oh, whatever. Uh, I create three. Let's see. So we're talking to Sand up first. Um, to finish his quest. Next up are the kids over here. I'm glad those kids hide in the same spot every time. <laughs> that just makes routing a bit easier. Like, imagine you'd actually have to search for them. Like, I'm really happy about... Like, there's not much RNG in this run. Um, like, basically, the only RNG... Like, the only uh, significant RNG is uh, bugs. <laughs> so, um, for instance... Um, like the beetles, so we need to interact with beetles twice in this run, um, and they can, like both times, they can just um, not move. They can just bug out, and like you can't interact with them. Uh, you can't finish the quests. Oh, that was a nice save. <laughs> um, and then you'll you just have to re reload the save file. Um, so I guess that's RNG. But um, 
But I guess it's also important how the bugs move, uh, how the beetles move. And so that's another bit of RNG, if you want, but um, it's not really significant. Uh, so basically the only RNG is just bugs. Um, what time is it, by the way? Oh, it's 4 a.m. That's great. We need about a minute to get to the wash. Did I? No, I didn't split. Whoops. We need about, a, like, not even a minute, like 30 seconds or something to get from here to the wash. And as I said, like, the deadline is uh, 7 a.m. So I have plenty of time, actually. But also, you don't want to be here too early. Uh, because afterwards, we want to go to the watch, so the observatory. Um, but um, you can't go there during night. So basically, for that, it has to be daytime. Oops. Are you kidding me? Ah, yeah, let's just check. Is it three? Yes. So basically you want to arrive here right at, at the end of night. Uh, where do I need to go? I have no idea. I always get lost in this section. <laughs> um, nope, this was wrong. To go left here. Um, so now those beetles have to walk on solid ground for us to be able to pick them up. Oh, that was a bit early. Yeah, otherwise they um, just go down in the sand. Hmm. Yeah, it's really unlucky right now. None of them are even close, really, to that. Yeah, okay, so I guess I have to lure them. Let's see. Should be good. Yeah, so now I can pick him up. And need three again. No! I missed him. God damn it. Oh. That's one. Um where are you going? Okay, this is pretty unlucky. Um, there we go. Come on. So I'm not really worried about my time right now. Uh, I know there's a couple of um, time saves that are coming up, and like, I'm confident I'll get to around uh, one hour thirty minutes. I'm hoping I'm, I'm, I'll get sub <laughs> one hour thirty minutes, um, but like I, I don't see how this shouldn't be world record. Like <laughs> I actually worked really hard on this uh, on this route, and it's. Like, as I said, it's about 10 minutes faster than the current world record. And I don't think I'll lose 10 minutes. Let's 
so now I'm just um, grabbing the waypoint for uh, Marrowbone Station and then directly going to the watch. There we go. <laughs> that was actually a goat split for whatever reason. And I think the watch should also be faster than my previous uh, best. I'm not sure though. Oh, now that I look at it. I should be faster than my PB, five, uh, five minutes, 20 seconds. I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> as fast as my best. We'll see. Yeah, so we want to take. Oh, god damn it! You can jump on that platform up there, but I just <laughs> failed. I bonked my head. My moon set rather. Um, so we want to take the moon in here because it just speeds up a lot of things. Um, and so we need to take the route that you just saw me take um, to basically drop down from the ceiling uh, in order to get her here, and then climb up here a bit farther right. Come on. Um, why is it not working? Let's try this again. There we go. No. <laughs> it's bugged. Okay, let's uh, reload the save file. So obviously you should be able to um, push down the pressure plate instead of just standing in it and nothing happening. Yeah, so basically bugs are the only bit of RNG, or the only significant bit of RNG. You're kidding, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Do you need to restart the game? Let's try that. Hmm. I thought reloading the word would fix that. Maybe I was just unlucky twice. Let's try this. <sighs> what is going on? I don't get it. Do I need to trigger something else? I didn't think I would. What time is it? 12. Hmm. Well, 
whatever. I'm not even mad. <laughs> yeah, this this game is just weird sometimes. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand what just happened. Okay, so sub-130 is going to be tough now, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, this is actually bad. What was I thinking? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's all falling apart now. <laughs> Okay, let's just go slow. You're kidding, right? Come on. Where are we? Okay, second last. No. Honestly, like bad dialogue management has cost me so much time in this run. Like at least one or two minutes. Ah, uh, so this is another one where we, another NPC where we need to talk twice to them. Now we go back up. Talk to Elizabeth for the last time. Talk to her twice. Oh, I, um, Sorry, I just saw that I uh, uh, split uh, too often. Okay. So we're two and a half minutes behind on a 128 run. <laughs> There's still hope for sub 130. Now this clip is pretty tough. I don't think I'll get it first try, even though I did practice it a lot. Uh, I think here. Oh, okay, there we go. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's one of the most precise clips, I would say. Um, it works best on like the wall tile that I just want, uh, that I was on. Um, doesn't work so great on the other ones, but it doesn't work great on that one either. So, like, who knows? Um, I did find a kind of faster route for this room, 
you just use this asset pool and then just run all the way to the back, which is enough time for some reason. So that's great. What's now Seven Sisters? So we go to the Bridge of the Betrayed. Yeah, already made up almost half a minute. It's definitely doable. <clears throat> I'm just hoping that I don't need to, uh, like the, these uh, beetles that are coming up aren't bugged. Because if I have to reload another time, uh, sub-130 is impossible, I would say. But honestly, the hardest trick is still to come, so I could... There's still a good chance that I'll just mess up real bad. We'll see. Yeah, so this is another um, split where we just got the waypoint. Oh, saved a, <laughs> saved a second there. <laughs> Progress. Oh, you can see the overlay. Ah, whatever. Yeah, so apart from one really, uh, really difficult trick, the rest of this run is fairly easy, I would say. Let's just go from point A to point B, climb a couple things, that's it. Yeah, so uh, we do carob so just backwards. <laughs> we go in from the back because it's way faster. <clears throat> Except if you do that, of course. We do want to stay on the top. There we go. Um, so in the newest version, there's actually a waypoint for carob sold, which there wasn't before. Also, the beetles aren't bugged. That's great. They're actually in a really good position. That's nice. Uh, except that one isn't turning. Yeah, never mind. Um, yes, there's a waypoint now, but um, it doesn't trigger from the back, so from from here. Uh, and so it's basically useless to the run. So there's not even downsides to not playing on the latest version. Actually, there's one downside, because there's key binds now in the uh, 3.7.7, which... Um, you know, would have been quite nice so that you can, um, for instance, uh, you don't uh, accidentally press uh, navigator or something. So you don't actually accidentally uh, hit N instead of M uh, when you want to look at the map. Uh, so that, that would have been nice to have, but 
I guess um, it's not that important. Oh yeah, this is another instance where you want um, far view distance. So you know, <laughs> like Crystal Plateau, you can easily distinguish, but you know where to, where to go from far. As I said, like an hour ago or something. <laughs> You want to climb up here. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Uh, and now up to seven sisters. Save another four seconds. That's great. Um, wrong button. That's fine. Oh no, <laughs> press the wrong dialogue again. Hey there, Simon. It's great of you. I don't need you though. Sorry. All right, now we are returning to the UR. And the most difficult trick is coming up. <laughs> I'm really nervous actually. Uh, we wanna take the moon up to the camp. All right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Was in the wrong window there. All right, so we need to be somewhere around here, something. And then do this. That's close, honestly. Oh, I think it's I think it's not far enough. Is it? 
Oh, God damn it. Mm, this is bad. I may have wrecked it. I'm going to try again. Yes, I need to get up to the cartographer. Um, let's just see. Oh, no. Um, oh, I should explain, actually. Um, so you're not supposed to be able to leave the the camp here. So there's an invisible wall around it. Um, but you can go through it with, with Simoon. Um, and I failed again. But if you... If you're in the in the invisible wall um, with the moon, and then you get off, um, you get shot in some direction, <laughs> and we use that trick to fling ourselves um, up to sodic waste. Oh my god, that's perfect! That is literally perfect. Bit too fast, but <laughs> we want to get exactly here. It's super difficult to get the angle right and everything. Oh, I'm stoked. Okay, that's great. Um, what now? Okay, now we want to travel back here. Uh, so that's the moon is warped up here. I'm super bad at explaining right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but basically the wall just repels us and we use that to our advantage. Um, yeah, and now, like the, the, the stuff I said earlier about the cartographers, um, so usually it's very tedious to get up to that cartographer there, but since we're falling down <laughs> from the sky, it's really easy to not easy, but it's easier to um, to get up there. And so we just, or I, I just use that instead of um, doing the climb in the wash. <laughs> but yeah, also, as I said, in the newest version, like what I just did would have been impossible. So we need, or we want, actually, we want... Um, uh, to use the moon uh, up here in the uh, in solid waste, since we need to travel quite a distance. Uh, but the moon is stuck at uh, at the Evex camp, and so I just fast travel back to the cartographer uh, to just warp her here. But that wasn't that that wouldn't be possible um, in the newest version. And then also after this, uh, I need to fast travel to Burnt Oak Station in order to cast all the masks. And that also would be possible in the newest version. So um, at least this route isn't possible uh, in that version. Obviously other routes would be, but they, they would necessarily uh, be slower. And so I just prefer this. Yeah, so that was lore right then. Um, that's uh, a poet. Uh, and they actually have quite quite decent, or <laughs> not decent, quite nice dialogue. Um, and so if you play this game casually, it's really worth um, taking your time with that dialogue. But since this is a speedrun, I just rushed through it. And then here I need to get up to the top. Um, for another quest, for another badge, actually. So I just use the Skyzer to fly upwards and then just climb the rest. Yeah, we need to get to the very top here. 
And luckily, since I re restarted the game, I'm wearing the whale mask. And so that bird is scared off immediately. So I don't need to equip that. It's just a bit of a time save if you have to <laughs> reload. Um, so now I'm going to Burnt Oak. Oh, that was a gold split, actually. It was quite fast. Yeah, so this is the most boring split of them all, because um, it's just eight times the same one-minute cutscene, basically. But you know, casually, again, super nice, love it. Um, but <laughs> in the speedrun, since we're doing all the mass casting at the same lick at once, it's very boring.
All right, this should be the last mask. Yeah, there's really not not much to say here. <laughs> there's nothing to to optimize. There's nothing to do. It's just mask casting. So we need to cast eight masks. Um, so there are fourteen masks in total. We cast eight of them, uh, and the other six we just collect basically. So there's we start off with one, then after the ewer we, we get another one, and then, uh, let's see, so we pick up four other uh, masks, the whale mask, the worm mask, the uh, shade mask, and another one that I can't think of right now. <laughs> um, anyway, so now we go back to the UX camp. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're almost done. There's really not much to do, much left to do. Um, we talk to JD here. Nope. <clears throat> uh, we need to choose the second dialog option and misclicked again. <laughs> and now we need to head off to the side here, just to save a bit more time. And do a clip again, and then we're done, basically. Yeah, so this is not going to be sub-130, unfortunately. Um, what is going on? There we go. But it's close. It's close enough. This cuts it takes around a minute again. Yeah, so that's it basically. Um, as I said, um, <laughs> this run was a lot of effort. Um, there's many just minute details, um, like in which order the the uh, the splits need to go so that you order, always have enough cuts to buy everything you need, for instance, um, so that all the prerequisites are given, basically. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Quite happy with that, how it turned out. So, like, as you could see, there's a lot of time saved still. Um, so, like, things where I just got unlucky or... Um, I did fail the uh, the invisible wall boost once, so that's um, that's a time loss. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to split there, um, but it wasn't sub sub one thirty. Um, yes, I reckon this route could maybe be taken to something like one hour twenty five minutes, maybe one or two minutes less. Um, yeah, this <laughs> this end screen is just completely debugged because uh, we we uh, we um, we didn't trigger a cutscene that the game thinks we have triggered, and so it's just all uh, kaput. <laughs> I guess it exit out. Did that work? I don't think it did. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite happy with this run. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm a bit sad I didn't <laughs> I didn't get sub 130. Um, but obviously, uh, it was clearly possible. Um, with just a bit more luck or a bit more uh, practice. Uh, so yeah, I'm... Um, let's see how, <laughs> how this will evolve in the future. I'm hoping uh, more people will, will pick up this category, because it is quite fun. And it's getting down to reasonable reasonable length, basically. Um, yeah, so I hope others will 
giant schmuppin' uh, schmuppin' me. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks for watching.